Hello. I was brooding over a nagging, nagging question of about crime and pleasure. I tried to dissect why I was going to crime, and then. Uh, and what are the things to do to discourage criminals or people going into crime? This is a very broad topic, but I want to play a little, a little bit around prisons and correctional cent centers or facilities as an alcoholic. And what could have uh, been responsible for a change of such name from prison to correctional centers? I know that uh, it is a norm to want to do reforms on certain areas, a reform that will actually reflect the current, you know, trend reflects um, what people would expect in a decent society. So people, will, will, you know, government institutions, we usually want to carry out some reforms and make certain changes, and that um, really, really bothered me because. I once had a, um, a friend who was actually uh, imprisoned and was sent to the so-called correctional centers. When they say correctional centers, what really gets comes to mind is that, okay, um, there's going to be a form of where people can be reorientated and then uh, and begin to they go there they get reformed they get corrected they get you know de-radicalized and, and then they come back to the society to be uh, better citizens for themselves and for the society that's the picture that comes to mind when you hear the word correction. But unfortunately, it's more of a semantic. And changing from prison to, to correction without actually nothing being correction. Because the same prison prison that has been, most of the prisons have been built as far back as 1920s to 1940s and 1950s and with a capacity of say maybe 20,000 then way back when you just see a prison that was built donkey years ago with a capacity of you know a certain number of um, prisoners now actually being used to house 10 times the number that capacity was originally originally designed to, I mean, to accommodate. So this brings me to the nagging question. Why did we suddenly change the name from prison to correctional centers? Was there any form of reform? Was there any form of expansion? Was there any form of, um, I mean, reform that reflects the name correction? Because one would have thought that things like uh, skills acquisition facilities would have been well put in place to uh, you know get this crim and get these prisoners when they come in and engage them 
try to because most of them are actually um, street urchins. Most of these criminals are street urchins who do not really have um, people to take care of them. Um, they don't have family. They don't have parents. You just see them loitering around, causing nuisance in, in the society. And as a result of that, they go into these crimes. And then you take them into these so-called correctional facilities without obviously making provisions for certain uh, type of skills that they can come in and learn so that when they come out, they be fully integrated into the society so that they become useful to themselves and the society. But it doesn't happen. The one thing that really surprises me is the fact that you get all these uh, street urchins, mix them up, most of them probably would have just been shoplifters, um, uh, um, you know, who would have gone to maybe to steal, say, like a bag of rice or steal uh, um, candies, cookies, and stuff like that. And then you take them, most of them don't even have the lawyers to come in and and stand it for them and defend them. So they are all uh, taken to the same prison and they call them awaiting trials. And most of them have been there awaiting trials for years for a crime that could have just been uh, with a term of say maybe four months or even community service. But they end up being in awaiting trials for years in the midst of hardened criminals in the midst of murderers, in the midst of hardcore criminals. And nothing happens. No correctional facilities put in place to reintegrate these so-called criminals. So I ask this question, why in God's name did you change the name from prison? to correctional centers or well, is it a case of an old wine in the new bottle same wine it's just repackage the bottle and then you give it a name i don't understand it so this is what has been been nagging me all this while and i just said okay perhaps this could be an avenue for us to engage and try and see how we can provoke, uh, you know, further discussions on this. So I'll be back to this channel again, and then we'll have more talk on it. Thanks for listening.